we're very pleased to welcome you back to our orchards. The flowering and fruiting periods keep our growers busy from late March to early June. This video will show you the seasonal tasks they carry out every day. At the end of winter, after the cold weather, the growers prune the trees. They select the fruit-bearing branches and eliminate any excess future buds. The aim is to limit the quantity of fruit in order to keep the branches from breaking and the tree's resources from being depleted. It's also a way of offering the future apples as much sun as possible. The objective is to enable the apples to take on their color, which translates into excellent flavor, and to make sure that the quality is stable, resulting in a wide variety of fruit sizes. Flowering is a key phase in the success of a harvest. In order to pollinate the apple trees, which are by nature self-sterile, the growers plant other varieties of apple trees in the orchard, called pollinators, which flower at the same time. The apple tree's blossom clusters comprise five flowers, with the central flower opening up first. They live for two to ten days, which is a short period for pollination. Honeybees and sometimes bumblebees are the key players in successful pollination. They come from beehives placed near the orchard by a beekeeper and they buzz from blossom to blossom, enjoying the apple tree pollen, which is abundant and nutritious. To protect the future apples, the growers use the mating disruption technique, which involves a pheromone diffuser. Installed before the beginning of the codling moth's reproduction period, this method prevents the chief apple pest from mating and thus from proliferating. This is a preventive, sustainable and non-destructive solution which protects biodiversity. When the apples begin to grow and get bigger, the growers thin out the fruit. They remove all the excess deformed and damaged apples in order to improve the distribution of the best fruit. The branch's diameter determines the optimal number of apples each branch should hold. The apple's quality, size and sugar concentration are closely linked to the tree's nutrition, which comes from the soil and from photosynthesis. The growers monitor the trees and provide them with all the nutrients they need for their growth. Thanks to sensors placed in the soil, which send information to a meter, they also adjust the watering through a drip irrigation system that enables them to efficiently distribute the amount of water needed for the tree and the apples to grow harmoniously. Selective and efficient pruning, careful, optimized pollination, protected, monitored fruiting. Every day, the growers carry out countless tasks and provide devoted care with a single objective ensuring the growth of high-quality apples that meet Pink Lady standards. <laughs> <laughs>